Okay, so these questions are asking us to expand out of the single brackets. Now what that means is we're essentially going to rewrite uh, each of these expressions uh, and the brackets will be removed. So here's how you do it. One of the things I always try and get students to do is to um, identify each of the uh, terms and each expression uh, along with its um, operator. And I always start from the right hand side. So I'll start from this side and work my way towards the left. So here we have five, but it's not just five, it's positive five. And here we have positive nine y, and here we have positive four. So now that we've um, identified the different terms, we can probably start solving the actual problem uh, and do our simplifying. Okay, so the way we do it is we take the terms of the term, which is outside of the brackets, and in this case it's positive four, and we uh, multiply it by each of the terms inside the brackets in turn. So here's how it works. Four times nine y. So four times nine y is 36 y. Now why is that 36 y? Well, let's just take a quick second out to check out what this actually means. So what I'm asking is four, right, times nine y. Now, what does 9y actually mean? Well, it means 9 times y, correct? So, what I really want to write to explain it is 9, it's 4 times 9 times y. And so you can see that if you look at that, it's going to be 4 times 9 is 36, and then times y, right? But we always take out the times, so it's 36y, and that's why... Uh, 4 times 9y in this case happens to be 36y. Okay, and then the next step would be to multiply 4 again, the term that's outside of the brackets, by the next term inside the brackets that we haven't used yet, and it's positive 5. So 4 times positive 5 is positive 20. And this is the expanded form. So if we do the same kind of process over here, uh, we have uh, minus 5. So again, we're identifying each term in its operator. We've got positive 9y and positive 6. If it doesn't say minus the term, then it means positive the term. So again, this time it's going to be 6 times 9y and then 6 times minus 5. So 6 times 9y is 54y and 6 times minus 5 is minus 30. And that one's done. So let's go to the next one down. We've got seven brackets y plus five. So let's first just identify the terms and their operators. So, okay, so it's plus, plus the positive numbers. And again, seven times y and then seven times positive five. So seven times y, that's seven y. And then seven times positive five is positive 35. That's how that works. And the last one over here, Identify. It doesn't matter it's if the number, if the um, constant comes first or the variable comes first inside the brackets. It's all good. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so we can just do our multiplication now. 3 times 9, uh, positive 3 times positive 9, right? That's positive 27. And then 3 times y. Now remember, when there's no number in front of the, um, the variable, so there's no coefficient in other words, we know that there's an invisible coefficient there, and it's 1, right? So 3 times 1, what is 3 times 1? 3 times 1, uh, 3 times positive 1 is positive 3, and it's 3y. Um, you don't need to have the positive 27, so you can get rid of it. It's fine if you leave it in there. So the final answer is 27 uh, plus 3y. Or you could rewrite it. So that we're going 3y plus 27, which is probably the better way to put it because we would normally um, put terms with coefficients and variables first and then constants.